Hey, what's up? McCobb Mandy here and welcome to my video. I just want to kick this off by giving you a little bit of context. I was live streaming this. Uh, at this point, it looks like it was October 24th, 2020. So it was quite a while ago. This is one of those clips that I just had sitting on my computer for a while and I really, really love this game. So I've decided I'm going to go ahead and use the footage because I think it was kind of a funny outcome. Overall, this is an hour and 20 or so minutes of footage that I'm gonna have to go through to make this video. It's not gonna be like a full cohesive, all the story together because this is supposed to be more of like Whatever a snippet to, you, to make it, I don't know, entertaining, just like showing you the best parts, but giving you a teeny bit of context at the same time. So basically I love this video this video i love this game this is an amazing game i recommend it 100 percent if you like i i don't know bright colors it's very colorful it's dark although it definitely doesn't look like it at first glance it's got a very dark meaning behind it it's very pretty and i love the gaming mechanics it's a really really cool game it's also really long, by the way. Lockpick. It took me so long to finish it. I would finish one person's story, which by the way, there's three people. There's three different perspectives that you play from. I would finish one and then be like, wait, home, sweet home. there's more? What? <laughs> and then I would keep playing. And then they like showed you that you each up. story is somehow Very like integrated boring. with another person that you already played the story. Like they're connected. Anyway, I would love to play this game full on again because it is a really good game. So I'm gonna finish this introduction off with a little disclaimer, just in case you could be triggered by that sort of thing. There are scenes where you may see people hung and there is plenty of substance abuse because joy, which everyone is taking, is a drug and everyone is dependent on it unless their body rejects it and or they choose not to take it. So there's those two aspects. They're gonna be running themes. It's gonna be depressing. It's gonna be bright. It's gonna be deceptively happy. And it's gonna be very animated. So this is another thing that is pretty big in this story. They are really big on censorship. So this is, my job wow, is to go through and get rid of anything that like might be seen as negative, evokes reaction out of people. It's supposed to be all happy stuff that makes everyone look perfect. And this one triggers me because I'm involved. So this is what they're called, Joy. I'm gonna refer to them as that. I should just take my Joy, shouldn't I? Oh, another fun thing is, um, I don't know if that is a thing anymore since apparently they updated it again. If you tell him to take the Joy, it ends the game right away. It'll just be the end. And it'll be like, okay, cool. Thanks for playing. But if you hold E to remember, then you actually continue the game. Percy! Percy! Yeah, that's his brother. There's going to be a lot of flashes of, like, memories. Throughout what the, have uh, you been up to? Story? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Oh wow, I never noticed that. He's got have like three backlogged <laughs> canisters. Of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, Two. Just Three? have a few more pages. That's I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Oh yeah, and they also popped him like candy. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. 
Yeah? Is that a trick question? Okay. So as you can see, this is my desk. I'm tasked on finding a new one. So I have to go through the other offices. Although there's one right here. So I guess I'll actually do that first. I mean, I did this months ago. A year ago, probably, at this point. There is now a curfew in effect at night. What they would want me to do... What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. Probably to censor We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. See, photographic memory, Percy knew where all the cards and prints and things were in Golden District. It looks pretty happy. A happy society is built on a happy past. There we go. That was the right answer. How does she know? Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. I imagine it has something to do with maintaining nutrition by growing children. That sounds negative. So we're probably going to censor that. On memory. One more. Drug trials, a qualified success. Qualified success sounds good. They're happy about drugs. So we're going to accept it. I think we can look at that. Now we're gonna take that power cell. Stand up. And you'll notice that she's no longer there. One thing is you can search stuff. And you can use supplies to upgrade your equipment. And build equipment. Then we're gonna open this Clive one. Birth find whistle. a document, business letter. You're off at the party, aren't you? We're gonna look around over here. We can sit down and use this. Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of you right now, Clive. <laughs> oh, I think we're trying to sabotage him, actually. Let's harvest. Okay. That sounds positive, so if we want to mess him up. No, thank sensor. you. <laughs> Take that. That sounds negative right off the top. <laughs> so we're gonna accept this one. Oh, I think not. Limited service. We're gonna prove it because it sounds I negative. Then right. we're gonna take the power cell. And I saw something. Scrap paper. That little shit. Did I see metal? He wants my view. I guess not. to you, Prudence. Just hone in on that. So that's a thing, um, Joy, it doesn't just make you happy, it also alters your perception overall. So like, reality is super dark, but like, when you're on Joy, everything looks pleasant. This would look like a perfectly fine basket, despite it being covered in mold. And they really show that contrast when we get to the piñata. We like Prudence, apparently, so we want to make the right judgment here. Although I'm thinking there's something, you know, wrong, like Prudence isn't here. <laughs> that sounds negative, so we're going to censor it. Oh. 
and then you're out of motive. And there's a fine. This sounds a negative, so we're going to censor it. Okay, so when participants in the flower parade decided to dismantle their floats and attack each other with blooms. It sounds overall positive. We're going to approve it. Arrest. That's a negative thing. We're going to reject this one. And no, this is not the entire game. This is just the very beginning. Before you leave your job. Now we get up. Are you off your joy, Prue? I mean, you too. Okay. Oh, and we can sit with a newspaper to like pretend we're not here. It's really cool. Like you can just hide from the cops if you're in trouble. Oh. And those guys are the doctors. They're very sketchy. Very bad people. They seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. Wow. Not really finding anything. I don't remember if we ever did find anything in these first ones. We obviously don't have the materials, I'm pretty sure, for a lockpick yet. And I'm not sure if they showed us how to get into your inventory yet, too. I don't think you're allowed. We got a power cell, so that's good. And this goes on for a really long time, so we're not going to stand here for all of it. As you know, England has traditionally ruled the seas. Rule, Britannia, Britannia rules the way. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. <laughs> and that means that our ships have traditionally been out of And I think I remember his name is Jack. He's basically a celebrity, and he's worshipped. There's even a cult that, like, worships him. Oh, 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 that's the party. The pinata. <laughs> She's gonna agree to set the door. There you are. You nearly missed the pinata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack. Okay. Did a whole Trigger show warning: about it. If you do not like gore, then watch this part. All the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Essentially, hit it. You, you hit it. Hit it. Like a pinata, you'd expect candy to come out. But Smash as I'm it. coming off to the joy, off. it turns out to be a rat and not candy. Uh, look away for the next few seconds. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. And then we run for our lives. <laughs> Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. I do not want to take my joy. Downer! Those are our cops. Oh. 
you! You smell gas? Flame and Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Well, just let me die. I'm in the sewers. Thanks for that. Uh, Christ! I thought of those bosses chase me. And now we're actually playing the real game. Bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. So we're gonna go down there, I think. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Yep. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. Borrow home distribution node. So sovereigns, I'm pretty sure it's the currency. Prudence really did run off. And she ran this way. I, I didn't see anything about how to open your journal. <laughs> oh no, no, no. There's joy in the water. So it will actually mess with you. That's another thing, you um, you deal with withdrawals, like when you're trying to go around and not get caught by the cops, you'll have to like take joy. And then as you start coming off of it, you'll vomit and then get in trouble because obviously this person vomiting is a downer. And it's like highly addicting. Bobby pins, but we're locked out so we can't go back to the starter area, but I don't think there was anything ever in there to begin with. Oh wait, um, I see Q. Okay, so that's an item. Let me just try a couple buttons here. Oh, J works this time, so you can do it in the starter area, but you can do it now. So J is your journal. Here's all of these, if you want to read them. I'm not gonna read all of these out loud. But I guess you can skim. Okay. And we have statistics. Here's where I'll be able to track if I accidentally killed anyone directly. And know if I have to restart an area. So I'm trying for that achievement where no one dies. <laughs> or no one dies because I did it. Read. Like that. For the most part, you're gonna to want to pick up everything. I don't remember if there was anything for the pill bottle other than when you make joy, you'll need somewhere to put it. So I'm just gonna skip the pill bottle because you will eventually run out of inventory space. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. Now I have pick. to make a lockpick. I don't remember if we had to go find a bench for that. Crafting menu is the hammer. Okay, it's been a while. Here we go. Lockpick. Make a couple. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. To him, or rather, who? Oh, these are memories. Ralph, may you going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But. Have they heard the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Is 
So as it's implied, I believe the main character has PTSD. But for a while he was on Joy, so he couldn't really think about all that stuff. Now it's just being hurled back at him. Get that out, because there's a guy in the bathroom. And this is the room mm. we're going to keep coming back to. The hatch looks shut. This is my inventory. I'm going to need a way to unlock it. There must be a switch in one of these rooms. And we can make more uh, multiple of those. The electroshocker. I think that's what Oh, that's right. I actually don't want to use the um, umbrella. Because if I use the umbrella, I could stab him and then it could count as a death. Joy. Wait, wait a second. It's been a while. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Unconscious? That was a good one. So as we learn to craft, we learn, um... We will learn how to make a weapon that's less likely to kill. Like if you have a pipe, it's definitely gonna kill someone. But I think there's like a stick with cloth on it, basically a club, and that one can actually knock them out without killing them. Or power the hatch. Too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. My health isn't great. I think you have to eat to fix your health. So we're gonna go to inventory. It looks like we only have the bandage, and that's sturdy, so I don't think it's gonna help me. We're just gonna have to go up there and look for food. Of course I could be wrong. I could actually have a perfectly fine health bar. It just looks a little faded, and I haven't been staring that down this entire time, so I'm not sure what it starts out as. The bridge. I've gotta get to the bridge. In the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah! The train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. <laughs> Rock. Berries. They grow all over the garden district, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> I love this game. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. There's also an achievement to get all of those. I wonder if my parents would be proud of me. So if or you notice me going out of my way stern. to get to these all the time, that's why. if there's anything that's actually where we're supposed to end up so yeah we're gonna look around here for supplies and then move on can't remember faces another thing you're gonna need to do which I haven't done yet you're gonna have to adjust your clothes because Downers also absolutely hate the um, other people that are actually in high society and everything. They take their joy. I think they have the rocks at you, but I can't remember. 
I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. Does this one open? Okay. Got the last bottle. And that's it. Time to move on. These you can only get at night. Those are needed for a quest, I think. And you do well, eat rotting food. This doesn't food. give me food poisoning. But there's a penalty. When will they stop crying? So pretty much I'm everyone crying. here has like horrible memories oh, coming back God. up on them. Oh Jesus! When was the last time there was a baby in Wellington, Wales? Oh, and they are in charge of your ovaries. In this game, no one is allowed to have kids. So pretty much in the water. And might be in the joy pills themselves as well. They pretty much have this thing they made where everyone's infertile. What's on those They pits? haven't really been able to oh, you know, God. have families. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off the, the toy tea set. Funny. I don't Casey remember never if I played these. with toys. They didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed Just to be. Just in case, I'm going to hold on to them for now. Okay. Oh. Oh, and you don't want to do this, because if you're doing that in front of people, they'll get suspicious of you. And then they'll pick fights with you. They don't like people stealing their stuff. Oh, that's another thing. There's trespassing in this game. I'm just remembering all this stuff while I'm playing. But, like, everyone is in broken down houses... Like that first place we searched. Just everything falling apart. Can't go in there. Okay, we looped back. Did I get this out? Uh, this car? Nope. Oh, God. That smells awful in Let me go find that radio so I can turn it off. Press the radio. Turn that off. Oh, that's terribly romantic, isn't Good morning. it? They have each other until the okay. end. Okay. There's people hanging. So, I think I can take off the box. Oh, just, uh... I'm gonna not look up, because I know that could be pretty bad for some people. Let's see. I did forget about it, though. You can sleep. Let's just sleep until my health's good. How about that? Wait, what? My health goes to crap again. Okay, well. Try not to dream about trains. But now I'm starving. There's that.
But yeah, the big gist of it is like everyone in here is very depressed. Normally when I play games, I'll read out all the notes, but not every note's important in this game, and I don't remember which ones are. And since I have played it before, I just... Meh. This is more of a casual play. Some more food? A lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. I suppose I could. Might throw up. Probably will. Getting a bit thirsty. I better find something to drink. Where's a pub when you need? <laughs> Where's a pub when you need one? Okay, we're gonna come in here. Get our food. Have to use. We're gonna look for the least rotten thing here. It's good. Um, I need liquid though. Let's do tea. Perfect. But we're still starving, so we're gonna have to eat something. Yum! Still in rotten food. Yum, yum. I'm gonna vomit everywhere. But we need to eat. Now I'm violently sick. Oh yeah. You wanna? There's a pump on barrel home, isn't there? There you go. Sick of tea or next of mine? Next to mine is the thing I was trying to think of earlier. They never told me what that specialist said. The one in London, when they took him to see him. So we do need to come over here, and we also need to go to the train station. So we can do this first since we're in the area. I wish the Abyss would stop looking back at me. Nope, I'm vomit. <coughs> it's okay, everyone vomits here. Yay for famine and disease. No. And throwing up rotten food. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, There's let's try not to get killed, shall we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this scene is like followed by, uh... I see you. Us getting rocks thrown at us because uh, we don't belong here. Hello? Then we get pulled into one out there. Sure. Help. Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. What is it? Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Traffic gun. Okay. I mean, what if I wanted to get thrashed? Come in. I never got the choice. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade. Yes. Well, I. How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral? Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. Enjoy so that. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. 
then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you, or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! Okay. Now let's destroy our suit. Sorry, Uncle. I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a... Sorry, this is gonna keep happening for a bit. You really don't want to eat rotten stuff unless you absolutely have to. Locked. I don't uh -huh. know if she's gonna but get mad I at me. I remember how to make a lock pick. Because this might be considered her place. And it'd be stealing. <laughs> Vomit on everything. That's the answer to everything, I bet. You okay? I lied for you today at 4.15. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again. So I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. Okay, uh, by the way, the reason we're not going to the train station is I think we had to come over here to get something because we couldn't go into their train station right away. <sighs> Woof, I'm dying. At least we have our memories. Right. Watch out. Can I make a bandage? <gasps> a healing bomb. And a dirty bandage. Let's go and use this. Go on to the pipe. Looks like I should be good. I'm gonna trip upstairs. Welcome to the bloody garden district. And now that we've trashed our shirts, no one cares. I'm sorry, we don't have anything to make the bombing stop. I think we go that way. Yeah. I wonder if Prue's out here somewhere. We're gonna make sure we get every item. begin. Please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. Oh. The fox is in the hen house. The fox is in the hen house. Uh. Who's our prudent friend? I'm dying. Friend? Stop killing me. I'm dying of dysentery. Loads better. There we go. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. Of course, we just came back over here. Let's go hit up the train station. 
anxious to get back home to the village. Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. <laughs> and a power cell. Now where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? Are you standing? No. I'll trade yeah. you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there. With the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me. I'll give you my card. Oh, sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me. In that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk. And the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No. I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those <laughs> too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Three times. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. I vomited at least three times while he was talking to me. Okay, here's where the currency comes in. So we have 22. Now we're going to see if there's anything... I don't see anything. I'm going to wait. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. <gasps> we're going to jump in here. This is where we're going to have to go. And we can steal coins from payphones. But if people catch you doing that, they'll get mad at you too. Canteen? Okay, we're gonna fill our container. They seem to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike okay. it with joy. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have a sleep. It's been a hard day's it. night, that let's was. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> I immediately vote on my bed. Mm hmm. It didn't work. <laughs> alive. It's a bloody fortress. Yep, but we have to go around back. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna be doing this while I'm fighting. Oh no. That's not great. Could never. <laughs> wow. So, like, all of these ongoing conversations, and then this moment when he's talking to himself, it cuts it off. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll, we'll vomit on people all the time, but I guess technically I can't vomit and talk at the same time, so I'm not gonna do it anymore. Yes, I am trespassing. <laughs> Well, maybe if you tried really hard, you could talk at the same time. I don't know. Run home, Fritz. Whatever that means. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. <laughs> Everyone notices. I don't remember if it matters. Going down. Going up. I'm just getting punched. Now we're doing something. I'm pretty sure you didn't have any control over the elevator actually. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. 
It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. All I've I done is pick a lock Can you juggle? Well, and I use it. write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. So yeah. apparently, if you can lockpick, you can pick fights. Can we not throw vomit every single box. place we go? We'll leave you there to starve. And then you lose all your stuff until the battle's over. Good Halloween's for the moment of truth. For it is upon you. And then you get the choice between two weapons. One of them is lethal and one of them is not. But it's gonna be a lot harder if you pick an only one. I just stole that. Yeah, so basically, to anyone watching, I'm not gonna be reading those during this video. Because I have played this game before. How's that again? Oh no, I'm dying! I'm dying! Oh no! Come on, the dysentery! Why? I don't have any. Um, anything wrong? I put my stuff away. I'm gonna die the second I get into the fight. <laughs> I'm fighting on Death's Door. Hey, you want to you want to fight a I dead person? I don't think I know you. Of course you know me. You got me sacked from the old current. I uh, I, I don't remember that. I, I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original. Danny Defoe. You. Now let's choose your weapon. I kind of prefer this over the vomiting. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna die. Let me pick my weapon. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? Can I grab it before I die, please? Thank you. Um, at least pick the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, sort guy. I got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. You He's look like you're about to pass out and die, quiet. but uh, I got odds on that. Down. <laughs> and now I'm dead. Oh. And we are good to fight. Will you please welcome <laughs> warmly Arthur, King of the Parade? I don't know if we can skip this. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'd like to introduce myself. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now let's choose your Ready to fight. <laughs> One is quite lethal. The other will give just me. give the other chance give me. to bear trees. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Up to you. Come on. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. Too bad. How badly do I not want to kill good old Come on, Danny. I'm about to die. Give it. And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, sort of guy. I got great odds Wait. on you. Don't fuck it uh, up. Hold that space. He's gotta come with. I don't have time for this. Oh. Hit me. Die before I have the chance. Don't eat me. Uh, 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 
I don't even know if it's a thing, but I might have to restart the game. Can't go to sleep. I died again. I apparently have totally doomed myself. No! I gave myself food poisoning in the very beginning of the game because I was starving, so I kept dying. I had no choice but to eat. Only rotten food because that's all I had. And now, uh, uh, in addition to vomiting on every single thing I see, I keep dying because the battle takes so long to get through the freaking cutscenes that I die before I can even beat the freaking fight. I don't have the pills. I healed myself right before I came in here. But because I have food poisoning. Nah, nah, nah. You're gonna die over and over and over again. God, it's like, is this actually health? I mean, at least I'm a little more, I have more health this time. I think my heart was like completely empty when this fight started last time. So we're a little better off. We might be able to beat it before as long as we do well. But there's gonna be a lot of vomiting. Apparently every vomiting takes out like a fifth or a sixth of your health. So Hey, friend! Oh. <laughs> He's getting in the back of my head! Just keep going. Ah, oh, stamina. You! Censor yourself! Watch out! He'll drop his guard! Wait, where's ours right there? Oh. No. Stop hitting me when I'm down. Again, all because I had to poison myself. Well, that's for knocking down my blocks in nursery. Please, please, no. Let's spice it up, shall we? Oh, how about we let the I died just in time to beat the fight. I'm just gonna have to keep respawning at the beginning of this thing. I don't think I can leave. I don't feel well. No, I'm gonna die again. This isn't even possible to finish. Oh, God. Okay, um, we've reached a, a very bad situation where I just realized it's actually impossible to get any further in the game. Okay, it seems like it would have been the better option. A, don't sleep early on in the game for like 13 hours and starve yourself just to heal. B, do not eat a ton of rotten food when you're starving. You should probably just let yourself die because at least then you won't have poisoning. If you just die over and over and over again, you won't be stuck with dysentery the entire game. You won't be painting everyone's walls and shoes. And you might actually be able to beat this fight and not get stuck in an endless loop of spawning at the gate and then dying and then spawning at the gate and then dying. So we have reached a point where, um, we have to completely restart this game. I've created a loop for myself where I will never win. <laughs> I will never progress. Don't do what I did. Thanks to anyone that joined this stream. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to see you in the next video, stream, whatever. Uh, yeah. Thanks again. See ya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I should just take my joy, shouldn't I? This is a choice.
drunk as a bug on a drug. This ought to be pretty clean, not like in the village where they spike it with joy. <coughs> Sally would have loved this. I could never be I've got great odds on you. Boots, fuck it up. Yeah, I just wanna be 